Welcome back to Irish Strength Training. So we have had a hectic couple of weeks. I haven't actually gotten to train strongman for, God, about two weeks now, maybe a little more, because obviously Vegas had a cruise drawn in as well. So I've definitely been eating way too much. And we had the live streams, which I'm gonna to touch on next. But finally, I'm back in the gym. I'm finally getting to do strongman again, thankfully, because I was missing it. So the live streams that we did, the first one was on Saturday there and it was Midland Strongest and that was held in Coral Leisure in Longford here in the Midlands. Incredible lineup of events. If you haven't watched it back, click on over, there's the link and it was a brilliant competition. I really enjoyed this one. There was some events that you don't normally get, especially here in Ireland. Um, you've got the truck pull, or the arm over arm pull, which is always a great one. You've had the duck walk, which is a fairly simple event, but for some reason you don't see it a huge amount here in Ireland. Uh, I don't really know the reason for that, but it is a great event. Always challenges people because it's not something that you can train in a normal commercial gym. It's very, very difficult because you've got that wide leg position, you've got a lot of weight pulling you down. It's very, very tough. But best of all, it's always my favorite, was the car deadlift. Incredible competition. Well done to the guys in Car Ledger because it was the first time they've ever held a, comp a strongman competition and it was brilliant. It really was. And I know for a fact they are gonna be back next year with another competition, so keep an eye on their page. And David, the organizer, I will put a link up, hopefully I can do it, uh, to his Instagram page um because keep keep an eye on there for the next competition that's up and coming definitely if you get the chance sign up next up we had the world record day up in mk fitness so matthew mckeegan's gym up in derry this was a huge competition literally you looked around and every big name in strong man and strong woman here in ireland they were there so uh, you know you had powered wire in one corner you had Jack Harkin, another, you Killian Groom, you had uh, Jade Hoare. There's so many big, big names. Michael Downey, uh, Matthew McKeegan, of course. All the huge names in Irish Strong. I'm sort of fangirling here, but it was incredible. There was such an atmosphere and there was a huge amount of support for the lifters. There was a total of nine world and national records that were broken. So that is huge. In one day, that's incredible. You had incredible heavy log lifts going on. The deadlift for me was the highlight. You had Killian Groom who was attempting for that um, Irish record. The Irish record currently sits at 440 kg. He's trying 441. Not gonna spoil it on you. Go back, watch the, I'll put up the uh, link for the deadlift portion so it's only the deadlift event but I'll also put up the link for the whole company or for the playlist for all of the different events because it, it was incredible that it was literally incredible every event had surprises in there and really top class lifts but that deadlift for me was the highlight incredible work going on there and with this competition you were able to see a lot of Ireland's future top level strongmen. There's there's a lot of young guys that are coming through that are pushing those numbers and you can see where they're they're gonna sort of they're the next generation of strong. I don't want to, to, to take over whatever else, but because sort of putting down the, the you know top level strongmen that are there at the moment, they're incredible. But you, you were able to see the next generation coming through, which is really exciting. And I'm really excited for the future of the sport here in Ireland because there is some immense talent coming through. So go back, have a look at that. The event went fantastic. It, again, without a hitch. I do have to apologize for anybody that did tune into the live stream because unfortunately, it's another country for me, so it, it's difficult using um, sorting out internet personally. So I was using the gym internet and there was a few issues with um, connections. So unfortunately, 
the live stream for some people was a little bit choppy, was a little bit, you know, stop start. So I am very, very sorry for anybody that was experiencing those difficulties. The next competition, hopefully, that I will be live streaming is down in GSP down in Galway, and that's the Static Monsters, which again, it's a worldwide competition. So it goes on all over the world in different gyms, and each of the lifters will try their, their best, obviously, do their max lifts, and then afterwards they get a breakdown of where in the world they actually come. So you do your deadlift and then you find out in the world during that competition you were the 97th heaviest lifter in the world, which is really cool. So you might not be the, you might be, if you're like me, you might be the 497th, but it, it doesn't really matter. It's just about seeing, you know, in the world you might be 500th strongest on the deadlift in that competition which is an incredible achievement. You might be further down the list, you might be further up. It doesn't really matter. Being able to see that uh, where you come in the listings is huge. It would be really exciting for me anyway. Now, I'm not actually competing at that one. After me saying it'd be really exciting. I My next competition that I would be competing at is going to be more than likely February, the Cerberus Cup. Hasn't been confirmed that it's going to be February, we think it is, but hasn't been confirmed yet. Keep an eye on the channel here, subscribe, and I will let you know the competitions for early next year when they start getting announced. There's not a whole lot have been announced just yet. The next thing is, thank you to all the new subscribers on the channel. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, think about it, just click that button down below. That's all you have to do, but it really helps keep the channel going. Again, it's been a really busy week for the channel and I've seen that in the feedback. Had some incredible interactions on Sunday, especially a lot of people coming up to me that I didn't particularly know followed me on the, the channel or followed me on social media, coming up to me and saying how important the channel was to them. So it, it's actually a really huge thing and, you know, Sort of, maybe it's building up my ego or something, but if you are at a competition and you follow me, please come up to me, have a chat, because it helps me keep the channel going. It really does. It helps keep the motivation going. Having a, a YouTube channel is quite a, a commitment, time-wise and financially, so especially if you're traveling here and there and uh, taking time off, um, to live stream these events, which are all done for free. And it, it can be tough at times, so people coming back up to you and saying how helpful it's been, or that, like some people saying, that's the reason they got into the sport, seeing the competitions on here. It means a lot to me. So feel free, come up to me, boost my ego a little bit, and yeah, you're always you're always welcome to, to have a chat. So other than that, get back into my training. I am here for a couple of days, then I'm back to Castle Bar, a couple of days training up there, and then I'm away to Glasgow. So another busy week in being planned. I'm actually in total I'll be in four countries this week from Vegas from Vegas, Vegas not a country, although it's a weird place. It's, it's on its own in the world for weirdness. But we had uh, America, then back here to Ireland, of course, then Northern Ireland, and now over to Scotland this weekend. So it has been a very hectic time, and my training is definitely suffering. I really need to get back going solid at it. Again, you'll have times like this where, you know, life takes over, unfortunately. So uh, I am looking forward to getting back into a bit of a routine. But... Coming up, like I said, we've got the Static Monsters, which is the next big one, and that is at the end of the month. I, I should have checked the date before coming on, but I think it's the 30th of October. It might be the third, I'm pretty sure it's the 30th of October. So that's going to be a really exciting one, so stay tuned for that. And I am, over on Instagram, you'll see, I am pushing some of the videos from the World Record Day there that just happened. I'm going to continue to push them because they are incredible videos, incredible attempts. The videos are just normal, but the attempts and the work that was going into some of those lifts, 
it, it, you, you really don't want to miss it. So have a look over on my Instagram channel and any of the videos that I post, think about going and having a watch because they're, they're really, really top class. So that's it. That's enough waffle from me. I need to get going at this training. So thank you again, guys, for joining me. Put the comments down below if you were at any of the competitions or if you watched them on, on the channel here.